Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and I am incredibly excited because even though this figure is not a figure from the 2019 lineup from Safari LTD, this is actually a 2018 figure, but it's one of the figures from last year that I missed out on. So we are taking a look at the American Mastodon from the 2018 lineup from Safari LTD, and wow, is this thing just an absolute beauty if there's one thing i love it's a good mastodon figure and that is exactly what you're seeing right here in front of you this thing is just gorgeous at first glance i think the pose the paint everything just looks really honestly incredible so i am really excited to get a look at this finally with you guys right now so let's go ahead and take a closer look so if we start taking a look at the head sculpt one thing i can notice straight away is just how beautiful the overall appearance of the skull shape is they've really done a great job portraying the skull shape here in the overall sculpt of the animal you can see all over as i turn it you can get an idea of the curvatures of the skull and all the areas that would be showing are really really nicely sculpted out i also want to say just how beautiful the fur looks all over this it honestly looks incredible and safari nailed this guy with a really nice wash of a darker brown that just makes all the detail pop so realistically and just jump out at you and that is one thing that i really love about this figure straight away is just how incredibly nice it looks with that really beautiful wash and the eyes look incredible you can see the eyes are like a white in the corner and then you get a brown eye and then a black pupil and they are glossed really beautifully and very realistically as i turn it here in the light you can really see it shine like a real living animal eye would same goes for this eye and it looks like he's looking straight forward now and that is really cool i love how many paint variations they used in the eye and i think it really paid off beautifully when it comes to the overall appearance of this figure as you run out the length of the trunk you can see it really nicely and majestically curve upward you can also see how beautiful the fur looks as it does just that some nice wrinkling in the fur right here in this general area because the trunk pushing up is kind of bunching the fur up that is really nice attention to detail as far as that goes and as you look here at the front even the fur on the underside of the trunk looks great when you do get up here to the end of the trunk look how incredibly nice that is beautiful dark paint used inside to give it that nice dark appearance that it would have and a beautiful purplish type of a color at the end of the trunk as well to give it a really beautiful realistic look very nice sculpt work very nice paint application as well if we look inside the mouth you can see the inside of the mouth is also beautifully sculpted the tongue is really nicely present in there and it's painted with a purplish color similar to what you see on the end of the trunk so that is also very realistic i love the fact that it does in fact have its mouth open and that also helps to add to the overall beauty of this figure then as you run out the length of the tusks the tusks are really nice looking they're painted with a very bright white which is pretty much what you would expect to see on this it helps for this figure to really have a really flashy look and to make the tusks really jump out at you i think that was really nicely done on their part there is some very nice very fine detailing that you can pick up on when it comes to the small minute details of the tusks but because it's so bright it almost kind of mutes it out here on the camera but in person you can definitely pick up on some pretty nice detailing within the tusks as you move up into the top of the head you can see a few variations of brown darker areas and stuff giving it a realistic appearance as far as the coloration goes and the tones of color that would be included on the animal you can see the ears are very nicely sculpted and again hit with that really nice dark wash it's beautifully dark inside the ears as well which is again what you would expect to see the back of the ears also look nice when you get up here into the top of the body you can really see just how beautifully sculpted out the fur is there's kind of like a little ridge here on the top of the body as far as the fur goes and then you can pick up on the shoulder blades and everything as far as the bone structure goes as we run down the animal into these very big very beefy legs again you can really kind of see the bone structure of the legs as well 
beautifully painted nails. I love that it tapers off down here and transitions to a darker brown the lower you get in the legs. And the fur looks fantastic everywhere as you run down the leg as well. When you get into the stomach, you can again pick up on a few areas that have been darkened with a brown to give it some very nice shading as far as the coloration goes, but also to give it in general some nice color tone. Some hanging fur right here in the stomach region. You can definitely notice the fact that he's a little beefy, really quite well fed, which means he's a nice healthy mastodon. Beautiful hip bone here protruding from the skin a little bit, and you can also kind of take note of the musculature here through the fur somehow showing you that it is a very muscular animal beautifully painted nails on the back foot as well they are a very realistic color and again that nice transition to the somewhat darker brown the closer you get to the bottom of the feet nicely sculpted and painted tail here that runs out as the same coloration as the rest of the body but then gets a black tip down here at the bottom really nice and beautiful appearance to that as well when you look at this side, you can now see the ear on this side is also really beautifully sculpted. Kind of almost have, appears to have a little bit of a gloss inside the ear, giving him a kind of a waxy type of a look, which is actually really awesome. That's something I've never seen anybody ever do when it comes to figures of their animals, or especially when it comes to like mastodons and mammoths and stuff. I've never seen that done, so that is just groundbreaking as far as I'm concerned anyway. When it comes to models, I've never seen something like that, and I really love it. I think that is just an incredibly realistic dose of reality, something you would see on a real living mastodon, and an unbelievably beautiful touch on the part of Safari LTD. Very nice coloration here with the darker areas once again really nicely showing the color tones of the animal the fur looks fantastic all over again you can see the shoulder blade as we move down into this very long front leg you can pick up on the bone structure again and the incredibly nicely painted nails here on this front leg as you come up into the stomach you can tell again like i said he's pretty beefy definitely well fed Nicely done as far as the hip bone goes and the fur everywhere looks so good because of that dark wash with that darker brown that they've included and as I turn this here you can again see that muscular leg there the muscle tone kind of shining through even with the fur that is really incredible that they were able to pull that off so realistically nicely done as far as the rear foot as well beautifully sculpted and then we come back up into the tail which we already saw the underside also looks really really nice as far as the sculpting of the skin the nice dark wash and everything really looks fantastic this mastodon is just pure beauty so as far as a size goes on our safari ltd american mastodon you are looking at about oh i'd say just a hair under eight and a half inches or 21 and a half centimeters and for a height, the highest point is definitely going to be the trunk. So you're looking at about four and, oh, I hit him, about four and a half inches or about 11 and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, there is the now puny looking woolly rhinoceros from Safari LTD. But you should be able to get a pretty good idea of the size of this next to the woolly rhino if you do have this. And uh, if you do not, we will include a few other 2019 models that we just recently reviewed, like the 2019 City Potty. And you should be able to tell again that this is a really large figure. This mammoth is actually really quite impressively large, also quite heavy, which is another impressive trait about it. But the City Potty here is a pretty big figure, and the mammoth really quite dwarfs it a good bit, so... We will bring in the Prestasuchus, which is the final of my more recent Safari LTD figures to enter my collection. And I stated on numerous occasions so far that the Prestasuchus is a really decently large figure. And once again, the American Mastodon is quite a bit larger. So at this point, you should have a pretty good idea that the American Mastodon is definitely a very large, very sizable figure and just absolutely beautiful. So, this 2018 American Mastodon is unbelievably nice in person, and I'm actually really kind of upset that it took me so long to get a hold of this because it's probably my favorite figure out of all of the figures from last year. I mean, there's a good chance that it is. I can't say for sure, as there were some pretty incredible figures from both this year and last year when it comes to Safari LTDs releases but man this thing is just 
unbelievable in person it truly is just an absolute work of art the sculpt of it is fantastic you can pick up on all the areas that would show the bone structure but without question it is not shrink wrapped in any way i love the fact that you can pick up on what the animal would look like underneath the fur but still at the same time having the very nice shaggy fur that you would expect to see on an american mastodon they also really did a great job portraying the movement throughout the animal sculpt like the area right around the trunk where it kind of wrinkles up the fur which is something you would see for sure when it comes to the way the trunk is lifted in the air i also love the fact that they've included that dark wash underneath the fur to help bring out the details really beautifully and really make that fur jump out at you it almost kind of appears as though maybe they did a little dry brushing over it as well in certain areas but i cannot really say for sure they did a great job as far as the color tones as well in the animal giving it some darker areas and lighter areas and one thing that I am head over heels in love with is the fact that they included a glossy area inside the ear, insinuating the earwax that you would find inside of a real living animal's ear. That was an unbelievably beautiful touch that, again, I've never seen anybody do before. So that is something that I really want to commend Safari LTD on and just state how unbelievably awesome of an idea that was to include that. The eye looks beautiful beyond belief. It is painted to perfection. I love the fact that they've included a white, brown, and black to really give this a very realistic appearance. And when you stare into the eyes of the animal, you almost get the feeling that it really is alive and kind of has that feeling of a living animal to it. And that is another incredibly beautiful touch that Safari LTD has pulled off in magnificent fashion when it comes to this American Mastodon. So this is without question an absolute beauty when it comes to this species. Easily one of the best American Mastodon figures of all time. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I am head over heels for this. You probably would be as well if you aren't already if you picked this guy up. So I will include a link in the description to where you can do just that. So make sure you check the description, head on over to the Safari LTD store, pick up this unbelievable 2018 American Mastodon figure. But before you do that, don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.